Jesse, I didn't hit you. Oh, you pushed me. That's good enough. I'm sorry. I just want to go home. Not until we sort this out, all right? I said I was sorry. JR, you cannot go around drunk punching people. He was in my face. Well, you were the only one we saw. Drunk. Yeah, I told JR. you. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Who cares? Jesse? Is there a problem? You want to tell him, JR? It's going to make a difference. Fine, I'll tell him. He hits this guy, I go over to break it up, and he decides to get physical with me too, right? What a joke. Yeah, it was real funny. You've been stringing quite a few of those together lately, haven't you? Marissa's serving me the papers. She's got custody of AJ. And you thought getting in a bar fight was a good way to win him back? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. JR is... Uh... JR is sick. Nobody can help him. I mean, if he can't even get sober for his own son. Shh. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm sorry, I thought you were upstairs with Opal and the girls. I heard you crying, Mommy. I'm sorry, baby, come here. Look, I was a little sad before, but I'm okay now. Especially now I'm seeing you. What is it? What's wrong? I miss my daddy. Not the mean one, the nice one. Come here. I'm a big girl. Okay. I can handle JR, and I don't want you postponing what you have to do to to babysit me. Yeah, of course. No, I listen, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I would love, I would love more than anything for you to stay here. But the truth is, as long as I can remember, I have learned to depend on myself. Okay? My dad, okay? If I leaned on him for anything, he would completely control my life. And my mother, she has shown me how far I can trust her. And then there's JR. So I would have to be in pretty lame shape to have to count on any of them. You can count on me. And I believe that. I do. <laughs> but, uh, now, you need to take care of yourself. I still don't like you being here alone. Oh, I'm gonna be totally fine. I'm gonna <sighs> be, it's not gonna be forever. And besides, I, I kind of want to stick around and see what kind of guy you turn into. <laughs> You're kind of amazing. Thank Just you. let you know. Thanks. <laughs> well, that's what my uh, my bloggers all tell me. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I guess you better get going. Um, you gotta figure things out with Caleb and figure things out with your life and and keep in touch, okay? I will. And I'm gonna be fine. Be completely fine. And the break off go, remember? <laughs> hey, Dad, it's, uh, it's, it's me calling. Again, um, will you please call me? It's important, okay? Please. Please, Dad. Hey, 
Hey, guys, it's uh, it's me, uh, the break-off girl. Um, so there is this guy, and he is sweet, and he is smart, and he is kind, and he popped into my life at the perfect time, just when I thought I, I, I couldn't be involved with anybody else. He made it so it was possible. Um, but now not so much, because he has his own stuff that he has to figure out, and I, and I completely understand that. I, I do. I understand. But I'm not going to act like it doesn't hurt. <laughs> I thought, I thought that I had it all figured out. I was ready to give up my, my independence and my freedom. But I realized, I realized that it's not worth it if you don't have somebody to share it with. We all want your daddy to get better. Well, why Annie? Sometimes your daddy gets really mad at himself when things don't go the way that he wants them to. So he will say and do things that he doesn't really mean. Like yelling? Yeah, exactly, like yelling. But you know that when he isn't feeling bad, he doesn't do those things. Well, maybe I can help him. No, sweetheart. No. Maybe if I be really, really nice to him, he'll be okay again. I mean, he already knows that you're the nicest boy in the whole world. You know, the only person that can help Daddy get better right now is Daddy. It must have been so hard for you, giving up your baby. And, and keeping all of these feelings inside. Well, you do now. Whatever you're going through, I want you to know that you can share anything with me. You've already done so much for me. Letting me stay here, letting me take care of Lucy. Oh, sweetheart. Is that hard for you? Oh, no, no. Because I'd understand being around a, a baby, especially another little girl. No, I was only with my daughter for a little while. Lucy in my arms for the first time took my breath away. And she looked so much like the baby that I gave up. I'm sorry. I, I, I really, I don't know what to say. Ag, you just need to talk, okay? Then say what? I don't know. But you're the only one he seems to listen to. Not lately. Not anymore. Look. Now that you're here, you can just take the cuffs off like it never happened, okay? What, what would that do? Well, I'm keep him out of jail. I can't lose my son, Dad. Well, why, why weren't you thinking about that before you picked up the bottle? I can quit, okay? I've done it before. Just get me out of this. JR, I love you. I always have, I always will. And I've gone to bat for you every single time you've gotten in trouble. And it hasn't done a damn bit of good, and I'm not the only one. You've had an awful lot of support. How many times has Jesse compromised his job to get you off the hook because I begged him? And it doesn't seem to help. What are you saying? It's time for you to grow up. friendly directions to turn. You're going to have to clean up your own mess. Whatever it takes. Jesse, I think we're done here. He sees. Come on, Jerry. No, no, wait a second.
I hate you. You're weak. 